What is so unique about AUC? Uh, do you have five hours to talk? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot that's unique about AUC that I truly love. I came to AUC in 1980 as a junior year abroad student. I had a wonderful, wonderful experience. At that time, the campus was on Tahrir Square, and um, I lived just down the road, down Kasaraini. I just completely fell in love with AUC and with Egypt. And at the end of my first year, I, I called my university in the United States and said, I'm not coming back. I'm staying a second year to study Arabic. I ended up staying three years. One of my memories of, uh, of being at AUC was my first year here when I was a junior year abroad. At the time, the student government did not allow anyone from the junior year abroad students to sit in the student government. And there were elections for the student government, so we lobbied uh, to allow one student from the junior year abroad to sit in the student government. Uh, and I think we were unsuccessful, by the way. But the caravan uh, uh, had an article. First of all, what's shocking about the article is it's a picture of me with hair. Uh, but secondly, um, it was an interesting recounting of the fact that we, uh, we tried to get politically involved in the student government uh, while we were here. So my time at AUC influenced me profoundly because uh, I, I have spent a good part of my career doing business in the, in the Middle East as a result. And, and to be honest, I'm privileged and honored to be the chair of the Board of Trustees uh, because it continues my ability to stay engaged with the, with the region and frankly to pay back. Uh, the region has given so much to me, AUC has given so much to me over the years, and I am honored to, to be able to try and pay some of that back to AUC. As the new chair of the Board of Trustees, my first short-term priority is to complete the search for President Richard Doney's replacement to put in place a transition uh, to a new presidency. In the medium term, I think we as a Board of Trustees, working with the administration and the faculty uh, and with the students, we need to think through what about the next hundred years. Um, I think the first uh, and in many ways the most important role for the Board of Trustees is to guarantee the financial stability and sustainability of the university going forward. The second role of the, of the Board of Trustees is to make sure that, we, that, the, that the faculty and the administration have the resources to be able to implement the mission of delivering a, a, a liberal arts education uh, in the region. The third role is to work with the administration and the faculty on a strategic vision that we can, we can work against. So for example, do we need, a new, do we need new majors? Do we need uh, additional laboratories? Do we need equipment that we don't have today? Should we add a student body? Should we enlarge the student body? Should we add more faculty members? With the advent of new technology, is there, are there things that we should be teaching that we're not teaching today? Those are all part of a strategic conversation, and the board is necessarily involved in those because we ultimately need to be able to make sure that the university has the resources to, uh, to be able to deliver against those.